AP reporting, quote, a senior UN environmental official says entire nations could be wiped off the face of this earth by rising sea levels if the global warming trend is not reversed by the year 2000. What year is this? Oh yeah, 19 years ago. Pennant read a piece, it read, quote, snowfalls are just a thing of the past. Al Gore, Earth for the Unbalanced, quote, unless drastic measures to reduce greenhouse gases are taken within the next 10 years, the world will reach the point of no return. Welcome back, everyone. If you've been paying attention at all over the last 10 years, you've noticed a definite pattern of left-wingers attempting to silence their opposition. We've seen it from the Democrat Party media, from Hollywood, academia, big tech, and now their activist foot soldiers want their critics to be silenced. For a long time, they've been able to get away with silencing their critics with a long list of labels that they substitute for convincing arguments. The racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Phobic, Islamophobic. But those words seem to be losing their potency. They also push their agenda using people that they see as above criticism, with the expectation that if anyone does speak up, they'll be easily shut down. Combine that with a steady drumbeat of doomsday fear mongering, and you can pretty much shut down any differing perspectives. Rising seas could affect way many more people than they previously thought. So I was just thinking, it's 2019. Right. Yeah. This is an estimate for 2050, which yeah. is only 30 years from now. It shows that 150 million people are now living on land that will be below high tide by 2050. Right. About areas that are right on the coast, and people love to live by water. Yeah, well, 60% of our population in this country live along the coast. A stunning new report shows many major coastal cities around the world could be underwater by 2050 in our lifetime. Now that you've scared the bejesus out of us. <laughs> so my goal is not to scare you, it's to inform you. So my goal is not to scare you, it's to inform you. That brings this to Greta who I don't think needs any introduction. How dare you? Greta seems to embody all these different tactics that the establishment uses to put down political opposition. Seriously, just think about it. Every single thing about this girl makes her a protected class. Last week, Greta made a post on Facebook basically calling for the censorship of her critics and of course painting them in the worst possible light. She treats normal internet trolls that all of us have to deal with as if it's a special problem for her. It's interesting, we've seen these exact same rationalizations used by those in the media to silence criticisms of politicians that they support. Just go back and look at how the media treated criticism of AOC, Rashida Tlaib, and Omar. So now what we have are left-wing activists begging the social media platforms to silence their critics. And at the same time that this is going on, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey just announced that they'll be banning all political ads in 2020. Strangely, and I'm sure there's nothing to this, but the left seems to be very supportive of this move while the right is standing up for free speech. President Trump's 2020 campaign calling the ban on political ads a very dumb decision and another attempt to silence conservatives. While Democratic presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg praised the change. Talk of Silicon Valley is whether Facebook will eventually cave and do what Twitter's doing. Twitter putting the pressure on Facebook, announcing they're banning all political ads. Last week, Zuckerberg clashing with Democrats, outraged over the policy. And says the decision is not about money, but sending a message that certain types of free expression can do more harm than good. Clearly, this move will only hurt one side, the right due to the fact that the left controls the vast majority of information flow and will have no troubles whatsoever getting their message out. At the time of making this video, Facebook seems to be holding firm on allowing political ads, but we'll see how that lasts after unending pressure from all the previously mentioned institutions. This is one of those things that motivates me to do what I do. Mark my words, they want to get rid of all political opposition and we are that opposition. All we can really do is keep putting out the word and try to remind people how important it is to allow free discourse. Otherwise, we are quickly headed for a tyrannical dystopia where the far left has an iron grip on the flow of all information. You can help fight back by supporting YouTubers like yours truly. It's only thanks to my sponsors and my supporters at Patreon, Subscribestar, and PayPal that I'm able to keep making content. 
If you would like to join the growing group of supporters, you can find all the relevant links in the description and in the pinned comment. Thanks, and keep coming back.